Hi friends, thanks for joining me once again for another one of my DeerQuest Outdoor Adventures. On today's program, we're going to travel down to Texas, where we'll be visiting the Wyo Ranch. There, I'm going to meet Marvin Carlston, the president of Gold Tip Incorporated, the manufacturers of fine archery equipment. Marvin has graciously allowed me to tag along with my video camera as he attempts to take an American bison with a crossbow, a really exciting hunt. Then we're going to travel up to Wisconsin, where we're going to join DeerQuest friend Michael Bates. Now, Michael is one of the owners of Black Bay Outfitters, which is a bear hunting operation in Saskatchewan, Canada. Michael's going to attempt to take a trophy class whitetail buck with his recurve bow. I think you're in for a really exciting show. Please stick with us, and we'll be right back after this. Greg Hoff's DeerQuest Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by DeerQuest Limited, makers of Deer Sense, the scent that smokes. Carter's Hunting Lodge, the Pike County, Illinois premier hunting location where whitetail hunting fantasies become whitetail hunting realities. Also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Nikon Sporting Optics, a better look at your world. Holly Caller Wildlife Calls and Accessories, quality products for today's modern sportsmen. Light and Sights, producers of high-tech fluorescent optics. Easy Cut Ratchet Pruners, quality equipment for the sportsman. Odor Free, the original scent eliminator. Be silent, be still, be odor free. And Wind Tracker, the fibers that float to show you the direction of your scent. Don't guess, see the wind and know for sure. On today's program, we travel down to Texas to hunt on the world famous Wyo Ranch. I've had the pleasure of hunting the Wyo Ranch on several occasions and have always been amazed at the variety of animals one will find wandering about this vast 60 square mile ranch. With some 55 exotic species, of which 22 are huntable, you will see fallow deer and red stag, for example. But the ranch is probably best known for its whitetail deer population. On this hunt, however, we would be attempting to take North America's largest mammal, the American bison. Although not actually native to Texas, the Wyo has a good number of these magnificent beasts available to hunt. So on this trip, we'd be content to just videotape some of the great whitetails we saw. I was joining Marvin Carlson, the president of Gold Tip Incorporated, manufacturers of archery products. Marvin was at the Wyo to gain some first-hand experience on the performance of his company's Gold Tip Laser Bolt, an arrow designed for today's modern crossbows. With supreme confidence in his company's products, coupled with Marvin's shooting skills with his crossbow, he had no hesitation of taking on North America's largest mammal, the American bison. An animal which can weigh up to 2,200 pounds would certainly be a true test of the gold tip laser bolt's strength and performance. After searching miles by truck, Marvin finally spotted a small group of bison feeding in an area which would fortunately provide some brushy cover to allow us to start a stalk. We began the stalk on the group until we found a single bull who was feeding about 100 yards away from the group. This gave Marvin the chance he was hoping for to get in close for a shot. Mindful of the wind, he got within 20 yards of this huge animal. Being the largest of all North American mammals, the bison has little to fear, so it wasn't surprising that when the bull spotted us, he just stared at the camo-clad hunter as he lined up his shot. I 
I think it was a good hit. I hope I got him. Shot looked good though. <laughs> Not being familiar with the internal anatomy of a bison, Marvin placed his gold tip laser bolt exactly where the guide told him he should aim. The shot was to be low and slightly back from the front leg, and Marvin placed his arrow perfectly. That was excellent. You did a good job. <laughs> I tell you what, that that is some bow you've got there. <laughs> that's you're, dealing, you're dealing with a 2,000 pound animal. Yeah, that's quite the bow. 175 pound draw has no let off, so it's got maximum kinetic energy. And I was shooting a, uh, this gold tip laser bolt, which is a graphite, specially designed uh, bolt for these crossbows. So now I'm getting shakes. You don't want to begin tracking an animal that's this big and potentially this dangerous until you've given it ample time to expire. After waiting about a half of an hour, Marvin began to track his bull. Standing right here, almost exactly 20 yards, we guessed it good. We've already got some good sign on the ground, just instantly right where we hit it. It's looking good. Really good sign through here. Yeah, I think we're we're real close here. A sure sign of a fatal hit is bright red frothy blood, which is an indicator of a long shot. Looks like he's come right down through this draw. Is. It's right here. He's down. Yeah, he's down. He's there. What a beautiful ball. Well, it doesn't look, look like I need this bolt now. I think we better unload it. And... These things are amazing. Graphite laser bolts by Gold Tip. One fantastic shaft. Just one beautiful animal. We had to work pretty hard for it. It was a lot long stock. We got into him good. 20 yard shot. Unbelievable. Unlike a whitetail, Marvin wasn't going to move this beast far without the help of five men, two trucks, and a tilt flatbed trailer. Nice job, Marvin. Wow, folks, that was a really exciting hunt. I didn't have any idea just how big a bison was until it was on the ground and we were next to that animal. Listen, we're going to travel up to Wisconsin now and join Michael Bates as he attempts to take a Pope and Young class buck with a recurve bow. A really exciting hunt. So stick with us, and we'll be right back after these messages. Today's featured product on gear, gadgets, and gizmos is the Holly Caller Hands-Free Deer Call. The call has an adjustable O-ring, which allows you to make six different calls, ranging from a mature buck all the way up to a fawn call. A new feature for the Holly Caller Hands-Free Deer Call this year is the retractor. You can simply pull it forward, Make your call, and if you need to, you can actually let it go and it'll go right back to where it belongs. The call is easily adjustable. Starting with the O-ring at the base of the call, you'll sound like a mature buck. And you inhale on the call, therefore it will never freeze on you. By moving the O-ring up 
to the yearling mark, you'll sound like a young buck. It's about a half an octave higher. If I move it even a little further up, you get into the doe range and you can sound like a mature doe grunt. If I move it just a hair higher, you can sound like an estrus doe cry. And you can move it all the way up into the fawn range to sound like a lost fawn. The call is easily changed by simply slipping the O-ring up and down the call. And that's our featured product of the week on gear, gadgets, and gizmos. Wisconsin is the home to the fabulous Brush Ranch which, in my opinion, is one of the finest and well-run managed deer ranches you'll find anywhere. Now, Jim and Cindy Brush are the owners of the ranch, consisting of over 2,000 acres of prime Wisconsin whitetail country. Jim's son, Travis, is the ranch manager and is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the ranch. I've had the pleasure of hunting here for two years in a row, and on both occasions, I've enjoyed the company of Mr. Judd Cooney, a recent inductee into the National Bowhunter Hall of Fame. Judd is quick to point out that while this ranch has over 17 miles of perimeter fence around it, the reason for its success is the excellent management. The Brush Ranch has never imported any deer, and all of the many bucks that you'll see are native to the ranch. This year, since Judd had already taken a 153 class Pope and Young Whitetail on video with me on camera, I asked Judd's good friend, Michael Bates, co-owner of Black Bay Outfitters, if he would mind me tagging along with him to see if I could capture him on video taking a buck with his recurve bow. Now Michael is an outstanding hunter, an excellent guide, and also a believer in deer sense smoking scent sticks. He even uses it at his Saskatchewan Canada bear hunting operation, which is very successful since it's only accessible by boat. If you're looking for a great bear hunt, Michael is the man to see. Michael had selected a stand location near an open field where he had seen deer feeding just inside of the wood line. So he put up a video stand for me and we were set. Now Michael and I had settled into our stands at 1 p.m., so we were in for about a four hour sit. It wasn't long before deer started filtering out of the woods to this edge, and it was very apparent that something had caught their attention. If you've never heard a first-year fawn make any vocalizations, just listen closely. I couldn't figure out why he was so boisterous, except to let his mama know where he was going.
Get a pencil and paper ready, and we'll give you information on how to book a hunt at the Brush Ranch at the end of the show. You will not believe how many bucks you'll see at the Brush Ranch, but as I found out, they don't always cooperate since I went home without the buck I was looking for this year. It didn't appear that that was going to be a problem for Michael this year. I didn't mind though because I love to watch deer and how they react to smoking sticks. When this heavy and high nine-pointer came in, I thought Michael was going to arrow him. Michael watched the deer for a while, then suddenly grabbed his Nikon binoculars and started looking at a buck coming up the hill towards us. When I saw this buck through the camera lens, I knew there would be no question about if Michael would shoot, only when. It was easy to see what was on this big boy's mind as Michael readied for his shot. I don't think I know who was more excited, Michael or me. And by the way, I think that was my heart you were hearing. Congratulations, Michael. That's a fine buck. Well, tell me, Michael, what do you think? You think that smoke helped? I know it helps. I watched this deer come and he cut the scent stream about probably 70 yards down below us. Turn, walked right up it. He stopped, sniffed air a little bit, but. Uh, smoke works. For information or to book a hunt at the Brush Ranch, call 608-539-5030 or visit them on the World Wide Web at www.brushranch.com. Well, folks, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's program, and I hope you'll join me again next week for another one of my Deer Quest Outdoor Adventures. Until then, please, be safe and good hunting. Greg Hoff's DeerQuest Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by DeerQuest Limited, makers of Deer Sense, the scent that smokes. Carter's Hunting Lodge, 
the Pike County, Illinois premier hunting location where whitetail hunting fantasies become whitetail hunting realities. Also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Nikon Sporting Optics, a better look at your world. Holly Caller Wildlife Calls and Accessories, quality products for today's modern sportsmen. Light and Sights, producers of high-tech fluorescent optics. Easy Cut Ratchet Pruners, quality equipment for the sportsman. Odor Free, the original scent eliminator. Be silent, be still, be odor free. And Wind Tracker, the fibers that float to show you the direction of your scent. Don't guess, see the wind and know for sure. For more information about or to purchase products you've seen us use on today's program or for comments and or suggestions about today's program, please visit us at our website, www.deerquest.com.